Aunt Jemima is canceled. So appears to be Uncle Ben and many of the caricatures or spokespeople featured on much of the food you might remember growing up with. Why? Because Twitter. Aunt Jemima brand to change name, remove image that Quaker says is based on a racial stereotype. I, I don't, I, is it though? We recognize Aunt Jemima's origins are based in a racial stereotype, Quaker Oats said. Imagine ever reading that sentence. And that the effort <laughs> to move toward progress on racial equality. Aunt Jemima, brand syrup, and pancakes will get a new name and image. Quaker Oats announced Wednesday. Since the company recognizes that Aunt Jemima's origins are based in stereotype. Now make sure you collectors out there, you pick up a couple bottles of the old art of Aunt Jemima. Place it right next to your Land of Lakes butter. You know, what's interesting is, you know, that's a label uh, and brand has been around for 130 years. And at no point did I view the name Aunt Jemima or the picture on Aunt Jemima as, an, as anything other than a kind black woman. I don't know who's offended by this. I, I suppose millennials? I, I don't know. I guess. I don't know. The picture has changed over time. In recent years, Quaker removed the mammy kerchief from the character to blunt growing criticism that the brand perpetuated the stereotype. That dated to days of slavery. Oh, that dated back to days of slavery. But Quaker, a subsidiary of PepsiCo, said removing the image and the name is part of an effort of the company to make progress towards racial equality. Well, I wonder who makes Eskimo pies. Are those going to? Kopfel said the company has worked to update. Oh, I'm sorry. We recognize that Jemima's origins are based on the stereotype. Um, chief marketing officer. Imagine your marketing officer being the making, making the statement. Uh, in a press release, as we work to make progress towards racial equality through several initiatives, we must also, I don't know, I think my power just went out, battery backups for the win. As we work to make progress towards racial equality through several initiatives, we must take a hard look at our portfolio of brands and ensure they reflect our values to meet our consumers' expectations. He also said that they will work to update the brand to be appropriate and respectful, but realized the changes were insufficient. Aunt Jemima has faced renewed criticism recently amid all the protests. People on social media called out the brand for continuing to use the image and discussed its history with the topic trending on Twitter. In one viral TikTok, a singer named Kirby discussed the history of the brand in a viral a video titled How to Make Breakfast. I'm sorry, How to Make a Non Racist Breakfast. Uh, she concludes that the post has racked up hundreds of thousands of views across the platform, and I'm happy for her. Aunt Jemima is a retrograde image of a black of black womanhood on store shelves. An associate professor of Cornell University told Today Show, "It's an image that harkens back to the antebellum plantation. Aunt Jemima is that kind of stereotype that is promised on the idea of black inferiority and otherness." I don't know anyone who saw it that way, but you know. I, ultimately, I have zero problem with brands updating their imaging. And, the, you know, they probably should have done it, I don't know, 30 years ago, uh, especially as times change. When you've been around for 130 years, it's just like the same people with um, the works of H.P. Lovecraft. You know, the man was alive 120 years ago, had some really bad opinions about people, and people are shocked today about it 100 years ago was a long time ago obviously uh, in 2015 a judge dismissed a lawsuit against the company by two men who claimed to be descendants of anna harrington a black woman who began portraying jemima in the 1930s saying the company didn't properly compensate her estate with royalties quaker said the new packaging will begin to appear in the fall of 2020 and the new name for the food will be announced at a later date i mean this is a good spin for them they get to uh, get some free press, rebrand. Uh, they'll probably have to keep the, I don't know. Will they call it like Aunt J's 
or uh, generic syrup food juice. I don't know. I don't know what they'll call it. It's going to be interesting. The criticism of Jemima's image, she says, is about representation. Well, they, I'm sure they're just going to remove the representation and just put like a, some just waffles on it. I'm guessing. I don't know. I mean, I don't know how, you know, you're going to have to really bend here. And and I'll look, Uncle Ben's now considering a new visual identity for products amid Aunt Jemima. I think they should go with Uncle Ben from Spider-Man. I think that would be ideal. Um, but then again, it's a white guy. Uh, I don't know. Uncle Ben's rice. Maybe getting a new logo after Quaker Foods announced it would be changing the name on its Aunt Jemima brand to make progress towards racial equality. Uh, Mars Inc., which owns Uncle Ben's, told Fox News on Wednesday it was looking into updating the brand's image. I would say Uncle Ben's, you know, you could probably just leave it called Uncle Ben's. Um, I I'm guessing. I, I don't know. It, it seems like a, a mix. Like Just because it's a black guy, it's automatically offensive. I don't really see anything offensive in this particular art. It just looks like an old black guy that's probably named Ben. Um, but I guess I don't have a gender studies degree. Um, so I don't know. I, I, I just see a dude who's on a package of rice. As a global brand, we know we have a responsibility to take a stand, helping put an end to racial bias and injustices. A spokesperson for Mars, Inc., sent an email to Fox News. As we listen to the voices of consumers, especially in the black community, and those voices of our associates worldwide, we recognize that now is the right time to evolve Uncle Ben's brand, including a visual brand identity, which we will do. Though Mars Inc. said we are still evaluating the possibilities, the company has yet to decide on the exact changes or possible timeline for the update. Now, I, I'm going to guess that... I'm going to guess that you just leave it called... You just leave it called Uncle Ben's, right? I mean, I, I don't know. Are people mad? Is there something inherently bad about that name, Ben? Um, the announcement concerning Uncle Ben's products comes hours after Quaker Foods North America said it would be removing the 130-year-old Aunt Jemima image and name from the brand's products for a more appropriate and respectful look. Congratulations. Racism ended. Now I poke fun. I poke fun. Um, you know, because earlier this year, another popular brand reevaluated its, quote, offensive image. After years of demand, Lana Lakes Butter removed the image of the Native American woman from all packaging after nearly 100 years of use. The change was celebrated widely on social media, which is where all the best ideas go to die. I don't know. To me, w what is removing the Indian from Land of Lakes Butter do? I, I don't know. I mean, what was wrong with that? Is it, I mean, I live in the Land of Lakes. Well, not really, close to it. Um, and to me, I don't know. That was, that was such a weird one. Aunt Jemima is a little, a little spicy, I would say. You know, I'd probably, you know, maybe take a minute to rebrand that one. Uncle Ben's, you know, I don't understand what's wrong with that. You know, maybe just remove all people from all packaging forever. You know, I don't know. Uh, it, it, it's weird to me that people are this upset. You know, I'm supposed to believe that there's this huge, you know, problem that we have to solve. And we're worried about packaging food products. I mean, I guess. Congratulations. What do you think? Let me know in the comment section down below. If you think, you know, ultimately, I don't really care. I don't buy either one of these products. Um, again, the Aunt Jemima one probably makes a little more sense. Uh, but is it just social media outrage or are people actually offended? That's what I'm curious about. Uh, do you think people genuinely look at Aunt Jemima's and get mad about it? I don't know. I always viewed these things as a, in a positive light. But if people are mad about it, I suppose they could have just bought a different product. But nonetheless... This is the world we live in. Hope you enjoyed this video. We'll talk to you again real soon.